Hello friends. So today we are going to see how we can use the PowerShell for installing the software on the remote computer. So uh, in this lab currently we have one uh, domain controller where I will run the script and it will install the software on uh, this three computer. So basically this script will check the folder in the C drive whether it is available or not. If not, then it will create a folder. So let me show you the environment. So this is our first server and you can see in the C drive the temp folder is created. So while running the script you may uh, you may see that the, this folder is created on some of the computer but uh, if this folder is not created then what it should do. So we have covered that topic too. So let's go to the second computer and here you can see the folder is created and there have some files. So I want to show you that if uh, while running the script if it copies the file and after installation it if it tries to delete then it will only delete the file which we have copied because we have specified that in the script. So in the third computer we'll see that the folder is not created. So let's do one thing. Let's delete this folder also in the server A. Okay, and uh, now I want to see. Okay, this two computers, uh, we will uninstall that. And Adobe also. So we will try to install the V7zip and the Adobe Acrobat Reader in all the three computers. So, okay, so there is no software installed and there is no temp folder here also. Okay, now let's just and go to control panel. Okay, no software here. The temp folder is there and there have some notepad files. There is no data inside that. Okay, here no folder in the C drive and let's check the software. Okay, it is not installed. So now we'll go to the DC one from uh, where we are going to run the script. So I'll load my PowerShell ISC and we'll open the script. So this is the script I have created for that. Okay. So let me explain some part of it. So here we have given the the server list. So let me show you how many servers are there. Okay, I'll copy this and I'll paste it into the run. And you can see that only three computers data has been given. You can, you can provide as many as you want according to your need. And then here we have given the variable as a folder and there we have given the files, the exe file, the msi file, whatever you want, you can give that. You have to just separate them from the comma and you have to put into the double quote. Okay, so if I have any other file, you can just give the comma here and then you can double quote and you can write anything. But it should be present here in your C drive, like I have given that in the C drive software. Okay, in my local folder from where we I'm, I'm running the script. So you can see that the 7zip and the Adobe Reader is, uh, is there, so you can use that. Either. And WinZip is not there, so I cannot use that. So it is just for your testing purpose so you can specify the file according to your need so i'm deleting it again <coughs> okay and then i have used for each loop so in the server in this server's list it will try to run the test path script so suppose if test is equal to true and i the test we have given as a test path and the path has been given as a C drive temp folder in each server. So whenever the for each uh, statement uh, it will run the script it will try to check the path if that path is available like the, it will take uh, every server and it will compare with this path. If it is present then it will say okay path exists hence installing the software and it will go to here like eco installing software. But suppose if the folder is not present, then it will go here else statement and we have already given that the path doesn't exist, hence creating a folder on dash server and starting the installation. So this variable we have already given here. Okay. So we have given now it is if the 
folder is not uh, there like the folder doesn't exist then it will try to create a new folder over here so you can see that this script has been given so here I have given the actual script which will use to install the software now here you have to uh, work little bit on each exe file or the msi file like here you, you can see that copy item folder folder means this folder and folder means this file so you don't have to specify anything here or here separately so you can just specify the folder and it will copy all the files whatever you have mentioned in front of it so you have to give the statement here and then you have to give the path where you have to copy now we have already created a folder here so you don't have to worry about that if the folder doesn't exist it will create a folder and then it will go to this step so till the time it will check the path if that path is true then it will come here directly but if the path is not there like the temp folder is not there in the c drive then it will try to create that folder and then it will come to this path so it will copy item this items and into the this path so once that file is copied it will it will start the second part as the installing software on if server like uh, this is the custom message you can edit that you can write anything that you want and this, that's it the second part i have given as the first part to check the folder and the second part so this is the folder and the actual command will start on the invoke command so this command will do the actual job to install the software so earlier this whole part is basically depend and uh, is responsible for uh, for including the multiple computer into the script and then it will use this command on each computer so this command is basically invoke command hyper computer name and computer name we have given as a server because we want to install it on each server so and the script block will start and we have used the cmt.exe to run this Okay, this is very simple method because CMD is available on all the computers, so you don't have to worry about that. So you have given this slice C and then you have given the path. Now the path will include uh, the exe file name because we have already copied that. So it is basically our local path. So we have given the C drive time folder path and then we have given the parameter what we have to run while running the exe file. Now this Adobe Reader, you can get it from the from the Google. There is no issue with that. You just have to go to the uh, respective uh, software uh, manufacturer site, and then you have to just specify that which uh, EXE installer or the MSI installer you want to install, and what is the silent installer path. So when I checked for the Adobe Reader, I found this one, and then there was the slides all means all silent, and SR means suppress the report so that is the reason i have used this parameter to install this now again i have given the command in the in bracket again i have given the second command that is cmd msi because this is the msi so i have started this command from the msi exe and then the package name and the qn so this is the q uh, means the silent installer and no n means the no reboot and then after this command i have given that remove item dash path and this path so I have given here the path that which file I had copied and which I have to remove. So it will only remove this part and error action ignore. If you if you find something, then you can just ignore any error. So that is the reason. Okay, so now we'll we'll start and we'll run this command. Okay. Okay. And you can see here on the server one there was a no folder, so it created the folder path doesn't exist hence creating a folder on boom server one starting the installation okay and you can see uh, here simultaneously that uh, the temp folder has been created and the file has been copied now it will try to install the files on this folder on the server and once the installation has been completed it will it will basically delete the file which we have copied through our script so i'll show you that let this installation get finished it will take some time according to the software as that operator takes much time to get installed also let's open this one
drawing. You can monitor this here as well. Okay, you can see that the software has been installed on the one and it says path exists hence installing software on your two server. So now the path was already there. So you can see our rest of the file was there and these two file has been copied. So now let's check the files on this temp folder. Okay, see there is nothing and the folder, the software has been installed. You can see that. So this is, we have done that remotely. We haven't done anything manually here and the folder is there. It won't delete, uh, delete the temporary folder that we have created, but it definitely delete the file uh, files what we have copied during the installation to save our space. So you don't let the file let for there. This is very simple script so you can modify your software uh, software path here according to your use and then you just have to modify this command this is very important and without this your software will not be installed you can use psexe uh, remote tool which generally is being used by the other administrator but this seems uh, a little bit easy for me so i don't have to uh, i don't have to download any third party tool over here for for the installation purpose see you can see that uh, the installation has been completed and only the files which we have copied has been deleted so rest of the files are there so you don't have to worry about that and you can see the software has been installed perfectly you can see the timing is also there what time we have installed and this one the folder has been created the file has been copied and it will delete the file see part doesn't exist hence creating the folder on this list and starting the installation so you can see that now this script is using the account which we have logged in right so in a test computer i have logged in with the administrator account so it is using the administrator privilege so you can uh, you can run the script in the account uh, uh, which have the administrator privilege or software installation rights on the remote computer then only it will work so this computer this script will run uh, one by one computer it won't run simultaneously on all the computer okay the adob has been installed the winzip is getting installed now okay done and we can see that the file has been deleted perfectly and the script have ended so you will get this kind of data after you run the script and everything will be locked so i'll put the script into the description so you can use that script according to your need thank you very much for the watching the video